Uh, on the easel right there, I have uh, put up a piece of um, uh, foam core board, and uh, it is a thank you to Senator Rockefeller for working so hard for health for health reform for us here in West Virginia. And I put up a red pen and a blue pen. Uh, I have a feeling maybe many of you all might like the blue pen a little better, but. Uh, it, but you can mix it up, red, white, and blue, and uh, I would like for anyone who has a message that they would like to send to Senator Rockefeller to thank him for the hard work he's doing fighting for us here uh, for health care reform to put uh, a message on there, and we're going to ship that off to Senator Rockefeller from here, us here in Wood County so he knows that uh, it's not the teabaggers and it's not all these right-wing people that at Fox News has gotten out. It's the real West Virginians that he's fighting for and the uh, folks that are that are very important uh, whose efforts we really need to, to back. So we, we would appreciate it if you put your name up there as Judy Bonzer is doing right now and sign your name and any message you want to send to him just add right there and we'll send it. Okay. So, we have several uh, elected officials here uh, that we appreciate very much coming, and um, I, I want to introduce them very briefly. We've got Sheriff uh, Jeff Sandy. Jeff, stand up. And his chief deputy, Denny Huggins, right back there. Denny, we appreciate it. I may not have got the title exactly right. I know he's a deputy. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who's chief and who's Indian, but somebody's in there, so he's one of them. Um, we also have Jamie Six, our county clerk, back in the back there. We appreciate him very much. And uh, I, uh, oh, and there's Glenn. Our state auditor Glenn Gaynor snuck in on us back there. Didn't see him back there. Um, Glenn, thank you very much for coming, as always. Glenn's a great supporter of our, our local party and, of course, a great leader for us in the state. Um, I, uh, we do have uh, a speaker here that I think is going to be of interest to folks, but I also, before we get to that, want to introduce uh, Sue Thorne. Sue, raise your hand. Sue is uh, the field director, uh, regional field director for the first district of West Virginia, which is, of course, our district, uh, Senator, our Congressman Mollihan's district, for the uh, Obama for America OFA. And uh, as you'll see, she's got uh, lots of material back there. Get yourself a sticker on health care. And you got your roulette wheel of health care disasters that you can face. I got just a brief story on health care uh, that I just want to relate from my personal life that happened to us just recently. And it's nothing like the disasters that, that some of you all know about in your families or that we've heard about in the news. But it's just a small example. Uh, and Carol, uh, Sam's our office manager, is also president of the local Democratic Women, can tell you about this because she's the one who found the, found this out for me. Uh, we recently sent our our son uh, up to WVU as a freshman, and uh, Kirk, raise your hand so everybody knows who you are. So. We're, we're suffering a little bit from empty nests right now, but that's okay. But anyway, uh, before he went, he had to get immunizations. He had to get updated shots. It's required, and it, most of the colleges require immunizations for this, that, and the other before you go. Well, we didn't think anything of it. Went to the doctor, got the immunizations, sent it into Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is our insurance company. We have full, you know, full coverage, no problems, right? And we screw around, screw around. Now it's been months since this was probably three or four months. Finally, get back from the insurance company after sending it in, oh, this is the wrong code, and this and that and the other, months and months and months, say, oh, well, we don't cover immunizations. So you have to dig way back in this policy, about 15 pages back, in the fine print, down on the bottom, in subsection D, and you read on down, and it says this, that, and the other, and finally it says routine immunizations not covered. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. We pay thousands of dollars a month to cover ourselves, our employees. And, of course, if you fall ill and go in the hospital, they'll pay for that. But to get immunized, to keep you from going in the hospital, which costs a hundred bucks, you're on your own. Now, what sense does that make? Does that make any sense? No. That doesn't make any sense. And that's the kind of thing, that's just a small example of the kind of thing that Senator Rockefeller and, and President Obama are trying to address in this health care bill that is so just wrong-headed. So, enough of that. That's a small example right there of, of the problem that we face, even when you have health insurance. Okay.
So enough of my gas bagging. Uh, did I miss anybody before I introduce our one of our speakers here? We'll give everybody a chance to speak, but I, I do want to uh, tell you that we do have a special guest, and uh, this is a fellow who is heading up a new institute at WVU. Am I right? Right. This is uh, Dr. Robert Watterson and his wife, Lou Ann, who's with us as well. Uh, she's also an executive director of a different organization. I want both of them to have a chance to uh, to talk. Uh, but uh, uh, Professor Watterson is at the head of a newly forming institute on civic education, if I have it right. I'll let him give you the details. But if any of you have followed this whole debate or the lack of debate about um, the lack of debate about our government when we talk about uh, dictatorships and this and that and the other one of the things that really comes forward is the lack of understanding of the structure of our government and how government works so talk about a need for civic education I'd say we have it so with that I'll give you Dr. Robert Watterson and then he can introduce his wife when he's done with his remarks so this is WVU Professor Robert Watterson Well, I'm really uh, privileged to be here, and, and uh, certainly anyone that says that Democrats are fair with 